All right, Fan Fest Q&A with Yoshi and battle designer Nakagawa. Sorry if I said that wrong. Hints at upcoming changes to squadron system, deep dungeon confirmed, astonishment and empathy, most important for creating 14 story. Why don't male Highlanders and male Rogan have eyebrows? It's very faint, but they do have them. Did a little bit. See the first warrior of light recorded in the history of ancient Nav rant and an admiration take on that form in Seed of Sacrifice. That form Form is the result of gathering together wishes to save the world and dispel the darkness. He took the form of the first warrior of light to gather together the maximum amount of hope to defeat the warriors of darkness. Are there any plans for mechanics that check the skill of only D- Oh! What? Sheesh! There are currently no plans for this. Oh man, all the content respecters are so happy right now. In pug groups, it would lead to too much stress. It would be the gorilla gimmick. Like in A5, where you'd end up wanting people who can be gorillas to come. Not sure exactly what he means by- Okay, so in A5, there was a point in time where you had to- There were these bombs that were like around and shit, and you had to turn into a gorilla, and you knock the bomb away from the group. And during the time- when you were a gorilla, you couldn't DPS. So basically, your shittiest DPS always did the gorilla. In pug groups, if a person didn't want to do the gorilla and their damage was shit, they don't want to make that person feel like they have to do that. So it's just pussy shit. I would have asked follow-up questions to this. All right, so anyway, uh, what are your favorite battles? Oh, shit, Sophia. This guy designed Sophia. I love Sophia. Ozma and Eureka. Your favorite battle is Eureka. What the fuck is wrong with you? When we made Sophia, Mr. Sudao was developing Sephiroth. We were interested, but also frustrated if we could go that far when we saw the gimmick of Sephiroth turning giant. So we reworked Sophia. Oh, hey, that's cool. So basically, they didn't want to copy Sephiroth's gimmick or the idea of where Sephiroth grew big. I would love a big ass Sophia stepping on me and shit. This is why his nickname Mr. Ozma. Oh, this is the Mr. Ozma guy on the Mahjong live stream stream last month. He couldn't make it since he was busy working on mechanics for Dragon Song. Ooh. Ooh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. Wait a minute. Was busy working on mechanics for Dragon Song? Remember like a year ago when they said, no, it's done, guys. We're just putting the finishing touches on it. And then remember like, I don't know, like three months after that or six months, they were like, you know what? We're only 70% done. We have to cancel it. They're still working on the fucking thing and people are just assuming it's going to be level 90. You see why I don't assume it's going to be level 90? Are you motherfuckers? Or like, yeah, 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 it's fine, it's fine, it's gonna be a little- I, I don't know! We'll see. Anyway, so his empty chair had an Ozma figure put next to it. When a tank selects recommended gear, is there a reason it equips fighter gear? There was a problem with the class system in the prior version. However, in 6.0, this was changed and fighter gear is no longer... What the fuck is fighter? Are there any plans to make extreme fights with diverse patterns, such as Seed of Sacrifice Extreme? We make extreme battles to be close to the Savage 1 and 2 fights. I think people who like these fights will also like Savage. That's good. In addition to this idea, the idea is the designers and charge can freely make it and surprise us. There is no orchestration role for Eorzea de Chicobo. Are there plans to add it? I don't even know what the fuck that is. Are there plans for bosses that use bigger maps or three dimensionality more? There are quite a lot of players expressing their wish for bosses that use the maps in more unique ways. So I think we might adopt that approach in the future. Yo, that's really cool. That's a good answer. Could you add weather and time selection for group poses? Okay, whatever. Which mechanics do you think you did the best job with making? Okay, third is Ozma's form change mechanic. Second is Sophia's scales mechanic. First is the Eden's Gate Descent spell and waiting. Okay, well, spell and waiting is my favorite of all of these that he mentioned. But I don't know all of which he's designed or this person's design. The change mechanic was okay, but there was only like three shapes, so you didn't have to really, yeah. If they added more shapes, maybe it would be better. I mean, all three of these mechanics are pretty cool. The scale mechanic was okay. I actually like the shape mechanic better than the scales. Why hasn't the squadron system been updated yet? We intentionally stopped updating it. One reason is we wanted to improve the quality of trust in Inwalker, but there is another also big reason. Since it is connected to future updates, there will be an opportunity to talk about this, so please wait a little longer. Okay. 
Okay. I feel like in Final Fantasy 14, they don't have enough separate teams. Now, I have no idea if that's true or not. I don't know how they work. I don't know anything. But every time that they add something into the game, something else is taken away. And this is a perfect example. I'm a big fan of the trusts, but I also did squadrons. Squadrons weren't near as cool. You just clicked a bunch of menus and sent your guys out and then they came back. Okay, so I'm glad that they made this decision. However, is it really that time intensive and resource intensive to fucking develop squadrons? Like when you do squadrons, it's like sending your retainers out on a venture. That's all it is. I feel like that you only need like a few people to do that. You don't need very many people, right? I just feel like that Square Enix needs to expand the amount of teams or designated people for each little thing in 14. This is literally their biggest money-making game, right? So you're telling me that your biggest fucking money-making game can't even have a team that's designated to squadrons and a team that's designated to trust anyway but he says since it's connected to a future update there will be an opportunity to talk about this okay so the squadrons are connected to a future update i'm just gonna say i think it's a bullshit reason and i could be wrong and i'll accept that i'm probably wrong you know like i said i'm small brain i just feel like that squadrons is such a small part of this fucking game i just think it's weird that you can't update both but whatever anyway moving on <laughs> oh here we go since eden's verse a damage down debuff has been added what is the reason for the change? Because of greed. I bet you it's because of greed. For high difficult content, I think this is superior to the damage increase debuff in various aspects. With the damage up debuff, the healer is burdened and it's more difficult to adjust for the effect size. With the damage down debuff, the healer is not burdened and it is more fair. It also allows groups to practice more before hitting in rage. Yeah, all of these reasons are extremely valid, but I feel like that they left out the biggest reason and I do think that they care about people disregarding mechanics. Square Enix babies its fucking healers. Like, god damn, man. Holy shit. This is how much Square Enix coddles and babies the healers. They make the healer rotation ridiculously stupid fucking brain dead easy. You have like two DPS buttons and one you spam. Okay? Then they design the raids so that the, oh, poor little baby. Oh, little healer baby. Oh, you're not burdened. We're gonna make them damage down. No more Vuln stacks. We don't want to burden you. Hitting multiple of your powerful, extremely, ridiculously strong off GCDs. Oh, it's okay. You know, oh, it's okay. No, we're not. We got you. It's just so stupid, dude. It's just so dumb. Like, holy fuck, man. Healers are so powerful. They are so powerful. And so are tanks. Like, nothing does any more damage anymore. It's just ridiculous. I remember when Dragoons would just die to raid damage because their fucking magic defense wasn't as high. I love the fights in 14. I love the combat system, but god damn, man. Like, holy shit, give the healer something to do. Like, if people get hit by a fucking mechanic, the healer is burdened. That's their fucking job. Like, when you sign up as a healer, you, you have to heal. But that's not the mentality anymore. The mentality now is you're supposed to DPS and heal as little as possible. I'm not saying that I want a, a meta where healers spam heal, but healers and tanks are so fucking overly powered now, it's just ridiculous. Like, you, like even when people fuck up, you don't have to really heal that much. It's crazy. It's really fucking easy to heal. Like, and just the fact that they have now started to design fights around that is just crazy to me, man. It's just the game is much easier than it used to be. I mean, I expected this reason. They've talked about this reason before. I just don't agree with this reason. When you play healer, the mentality should be you're going to be burdened if people fuck up. That's like in the job description of a healer or should be anyway. It also makes people respect more like during prog because if you get hit with a damage down, then you can still continue and see like more parts of the fight. But if you get hit by a Voln and then you die to a raid AoE after, it's much more punishing. I feel like that they should go back to Voln stacks. Could there be any way to confirm when hunters have killed S ranks? This way, it will become content that can be done in a detached way. When we want is for players to exchange information. It's a joint endeavor of players using external sites to track S-rank spawns, so we don't want to make it too convenient. What? Oh, okay, I think this is bullshit. I think that this reason that they don't want to make it too convenient, I think that's bullshit. I think the real reason 
as well since since the community is already doing it why the fuck would we have to do it it's a joint effort of players using external sites to track s rank spawns i like how external sites that's third party shit so they're okay with third party shit being hunts anyway there are mechanics that can be skipped depending on the boss's hp do you take this into account during development we do consider it in 2.x it was often the case that phases change depending on hp that is very true but unexpected skips sometimes occurred that is very true and i'm glad that they stopped doing it a fucking perfect example of this is t7 t7 is designed such a horrible fucking way we didn't make much use of this in the omega raids but the reason was it was difficult to adjust the balance absolutely and the reason why it's difficult to adjust the balance is because players are always better than the people play testing these raids if you guys want to see a raid tier where you skip a shit ton of mechanics and it was very obvious that the developers can't do damage you should play creator like creator was one of the best raid tiers because of uh how much uh, you could skip you could skip an entire phase in some fights is the crystal tower in the first safe it's already secure the crystal tower is from the future timeline after the eighth calamity and it, okay i have no fucking idea what the fuck they're talking about here are there any plans for more difficult solo content such as boja duels i think it would be a waste for it to end there i'd like to do something with it in the future for example you could be challenged by gilgamesh on the source maps or by sadu in the asm step and players could gather and watch that would be very mmo like yo that's true i like the concept of duels i do but uh i feel like the requirement for the duels was pretty fucking shitty you just go in there and you just happen to get lucky i think the rng is really fucking dumb it completely turned me off are there new plans for deep dungeon there are many requests from the global market we plan to implement a new deep dungeon in 6.x i enjoyed heaven on high and palace of the dead i enjoyed heaven on high more because it wasn't as many useless floors so hopefully they just keep it to honored at the most how is it decided which npcs to make into minions are there plans to make minions of villainous characters monster style minions are left to the device of their responsible team as for npc minions they are all checked in order to avoid spoilers npc minions are only made when the character has finished their role so please think of that if a character doesn't have a minion yet they still have a role to play wind up xenos artbert mish i don't know what any of that means are the development team's intended strategies and the player strategies similar okay here we go here we go it's half and half we don't want players to imitate our strategies too much but instead freely come up with their own we were shocked when we saw the meteor marathon strategy for second coil turn four. Oh, i remember that you know why they were shocked because that fucking strategy was garbage the only people that did that strategy were people that sucked ass at the game even the devs thought they were awful they were like what the fuck are these motherfuckers doing they're just fucking papagan around the fucking arena what the fuck it wasn't even that hard is it possible to increase the number of ui hot bars we can't give a firm commitment but we will consider it what is the most important thing to think about in making final fantasy 14's world and story as a director astonishment and empathy are the most important things to me the scenario is made so there are elements where it's good to think about our own society we try not to make perfect characters and we try to accept different ways of thinking Yo, this was pretty cool. So what can we take from this? That the ultimate still isn't done. Might be done now, right? Maybe, probably. The game is coddling healers like crazy, and anyone who says it's hard to heal in this game is fucking brain damage. Deep Dungeon. They try to make the extreme primals like the first two turns, so that's kind of cool. They're going to have more Bojan duels. Well, maybe. Yeah, that's it.